This, my good fellows, is the best handling Harley Davidson ever made, bar none. This is the Harley Davidson FXR, and it is a far cry from a stock one, although it looks like a stock Harley. Pretty much anything you'd ever imagine to do if you had a no expense spared build that you're crafting, th th this has everything you'd want. Um, I thought this day would never come we'd put this up for sale. This is not going to be an inexpensive motorcycle uh, by any stretch of the imagination. If you think it is, uh, swipe left or swipe right, but uh, or stay tuned and I'll tell you what we did, did to it. But this was supposed to be a forever bike. Junior and I had talked about me leaving this in the will to him. Um, we've got to come up with a couple hundred thousand dollars pretty quick here to uh, get this first floor done. We just bought a gas gas dealership, as you know, earlier this year. And anytime you open a new dealership, we've already invested in excess of six figures. And now to outfit this floor, we're gonna spend probably probably a quarter million dollars setting it all up with the bathrooms and the, the point of sale and the red shirts. And I don't wanna get in debt, so we're putting this up for sale, but it's not gonna be cheap. And I'll tell you why. Uh, this thing is basically a brand new motorcycle. Um, at 19,400 miles, it was completely dismantled and gone through. It has 19,800 miles on it right now. There's been 447 miles put on this build. Uh, I guess I'll start with the, with the motor. This motor was done by the best evolution engine builder on the East Coast. They've been in business for over 30 years, Hillside Motors. They have a machine shop in-house and it has the best components you can possibly put in it. It's got an 89 inch SNS stroker flywheels, rods, and brand new SNS pistons. It has their stage two heads on it, it has an SNS carburetor and intake. It has a brand new Thunder header exhaust on it, and it has the um, crane cam uh, and uh, ignition. So everything's been done on it. It's got a, a chrome oil tank on it. The engine is all wrinkled black and chrome. Uh, it's got a brand new Barnett clutch in it. So it's an absolute freaking rocket ship, 105 rear wheel horsepower on the dyno. And I want to put that in perspective. Uh, the brand new 2022 Lowrider ST 117 cubic inch Screaming Eagle engine that, that we bought in had 91 at the rear wheel and with a stage one kit in a pipe, it was putting down 96. So this is 10 horse more than, than a 117. It's a hot rod engine, but it's set up for um, durability. It'll run all day long. Uh, it'll this engine will outlast two of the new motors they have out now. These these things are good for 100,000 miles, and uh, you'll never you'll never find a better handle in Harley than the FXR. The frame was originally designed by Eric Buell. The suspension on it is all fully gone through. The engine's brand new. The suspension's brand new. Starting with the front forks, those are brand new, two inch over DLC coated black tubes with the legend two inch over fork kit in it with the heavy duty springs, has a Screaming Eagle fork brace. It's got brand new chrome blowers on it. Uh, the, the whole fork system's brand new. The original tins on this are in beautiful condition. That's original factory paint, it's in stunning condition. The fairing that's on here is actually a Harley Davidson catalog item that was painted at the Harley dealer to match this paint job. Uh, the, the wheels on this, I was down at Daytona with this bike last year and I bought it to the performance machine booth and, and they were like, listen, these wheels aren't available anymore. These chicane wheels, they said this set of wheels was worth about five grand. Uh, they're basically unobtainium. It's one of the best wheel sets they ever made for the FXR. These are performance machine wheels. And if you look around the other side, uh, these tires are brand new. These tires have about 50 miles on them front and rear. They're brand spanking new. The, um, look at the brake system on this thing. Absolutely stunning twin piston performance machine caliper uh, with a f oversized floating front rotor. The front brakes are off the hook on this thing. The um, steered head bearings are the Timken roller head bearings. This is a Harley Davidson set of bars with all chrome Harley Davidson controls. All the controls are, con control are chrome. The master cylinders are uh, chrome. The original tack and speedo housings are. Uh, one of the best parts of an FXRS is having the tack and speedo right where it belongs up here. This is the best model Harley FXR you could ever dream to own. Uh, the uh, fuel gauge, voltmeter, oil temperature gauge, gas cap has a custom center console, but everything else is original and mint on it. This is a Harley Davidson saddle on here, leather saddle, no aftermarket garbage on here. Um, the rear passenger. This is put on here specifically because Christy flew off the back of my last FXR when I was riding a wheelie and almost got injured. Thank God she didn't. She walked away, but she 
she was pissed off because she scuffed up her boots, but I, I usually ride with Christy, so I, I wanted this backrest on so she wouldn't fly off the back. I also bought a set of matching performance machine, um, performance machine uh, pegs for it, so she, she would be nice and comfortable, wouldn't slide off. If you look, you can see the rider pegs are performance machine. You can see the passenger pegs are performance machine. You can see the shifter is performance machine, and you can see the highway pegs are performance machine, and the grips are performance machine. There's I don't know, over $500 worth of just grips and pegs on here. All brand new performance machine, top of the line. These grips, there's nothing better than, than these grips. And it, it just, they, they, um, you feel really planted on the bike. You can see the primary is in beautiful condition. The chrome is like brand new on it. The kickstand has a one inch bunking extender on, on it, mounted, hard mounted, because the rear shocks are matching the front. The sh shocks raise up the rear end two inch, the forks raise up the front end two inch, and the thing handles like a freaking dream. At 120 miles an hour, this thing's rock solid. It doesn't wobble like my Turbo Dyna did. Um, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it just, I've never had a Dyna that felt stable, stable over 120 miles an hour. The FXRs, no matter what you do to them, they just don't feel as stable as an FXR. Uh, those in the know, know that this is the best Harley Davidson ever made. The uh, coils, it has a twin coils pack on here. It has a Pingle, brand new Pingle fuel line, brand new um, plug wires, brand new fuel lines, brand new Peacock. It's got a brand new battery that just was installed and it has a battery tender lead right here. You can see that it was just plugged in. Uh, we leave, leave it plugged in at all times so that um, the battery doesn't die. I, I hardly ever ride the bike. I've got about 300 bikes in my, uh, under my care here and I ride on average 15 bikes a week. So. Uh, my, my daily before this was my turbocharged Dyna, and I have uh, an XLCR Cafe racer, and I've got a 22 ST. Um, like I said, I really do not want to sell this bike. The, the original paint scheme on here with the red um, Harley Davidson and, and, or, and the orange is, is just one of my favorite color combos. It's a stunning bike, um, and, and there, there's been a, 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 a fortune in time and money invested in this. It has an Arlen Ness side covers on here. It has the um, uh, Olin's piggyback shocks. I'm an Olin's dealer. This is a, a $1,500 pair, pair of shocks. I think $1,487 is, is, a, is the, um, the price on those, if I remember correctly. Again, matching performance machine rear, chicane rear wheel with a brand new, with less than 50. I haven't even done a single burnout on this. It's original. Uh, Original knob, little hairy nubs are still on there. This is a performance machine, polished aluminum, uh, lightweight. The, the thing about these performance machine rims is they're much lighter than the cast wheels. So if you want an amazing handling, handling bike, you've got to remove, you need great suspension, you need great brakes, and you need less unsprung weight. So with these Dunlop tires and performance machine wheels, the thing just hooks up like crazy. The uh, original caliper was rebuilt. And, and chromed, and it has a custom FXR decal on there that my girlfriend Christy uh, did, made that in, in house. She's a, a graphic designer. Uh, you can see the Arlen Ness side plates are mounted with the uh, brand new hardware. All the hardware on the bike is beautiful. It's mechanically a 10. This is as good as it's gonna get. Brand new 89 cubic inch engine with all the best components money can buy. Um, it's tuned to perfection. Lance, uh, our uh, PhD in house Harley Tech. Uh, went through the jetting on the carb. This, the uh, Thunderheader exhaust is brand new. It's as good as you're going to ever find on an FXR. Good luck finding a nicer one. They're just, they just don't come up this nice. There's plenty of ones out there that are lipstick on a pig with 50,000 miles that have been repainted and beat to shit by a bunch of kids. The guy that, that owned this bike before me was a multi, multi-millionaire. Uh, you might have seen the video. I bought this bike a few years back. Uh, he was out of South Carolina. He lived in a $7 million uh, um, waterfront mansion down there and he had three FXRs and I bought all three of them. The other two I sold, this one I kept, we fell in love with it. This was, like I said, I was, uh, this is, as far as I'm concerned, this is Junior's bike as, as much as it is mine. And uh, we talked about it, we need to come up with some serious coin. To, we had to, to put two bathrooms down here, a conference room, offices, handicap ramps, lighting, uh, modifications to the, to the sprinkler system and you know, we, we got to put a, it's a 10,000 square foot showroom. We need new fixtures. So we're going to spend a fortune. We got to come up with a couple hundred thousand bucks pretty quick. Uh, we want to have this done, the showroom done the, for this spring. So we're going to put it up for sale. Like I said, it, we can't give it away. I've got a, a, quite a bit of money tied up in it, but it, it's worth every single penny.
Guys, like I said, I'm really torn on letting this one go because I can't ever, I can't ever imagine. I've owned probably more FXRs than anybody else you know, just punching Kaplan cycles in FXR. We've done so many, built so many of these over the years and this one was set up the, exactly the way I wanted it for, for myself and it was, it was gonna be a forever bike, but sometimes in business, when you're self-employed and you have a business like this, a motorcycle shop, sometimes you gotta make some sacrifices and uh, um, it pains me to even think about putting this up for sale. So, um, it hasn't been listed on eBay yet, but uh, 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 Junior, Junior said let's sell it pops and uh, I'm putting that in my KLR up for sale, which I can't even believe this, this day has come to pass, but um, we are a gas gas dealer now and, and we have a gas gas 700 that we're using. So sometimes in life, uh, you know, people get married, they buy houses. Uh, I've been through all that before too and, and sold some of my, my pride and joys, but this is one that's definitely uh, an absolutely stunning piece that, that is second to none. Um, it's as good as it gets, really. So if you have any questions about it, give me a call at 860-454-7024. We have financing in-house here. We, um, we can ship this bike anywhere in the continental United States for you. And just look, look at the profile of this thing. I mean, tell me there's a Harley Davidson brand new in the dealership that has a better profile than, than this or handles better than this. And uh, maybe that's a matter, as far as the, the style, it's a matter of preference, but there's, there's nothing in, in the Harley dealership that rides like this does or handles like this or will ride wheelies like this thing will. Um, this is a performance machine in, in every respect of the world word. So lighting's not that great in here. It's kind of dark outside. I wish I could have ripped it down the road for you and um, given you another, uh, another t uh, look at what this thing looks like ripping down the road because it's as good as it gets, man. So this is what we call a no excuses machine. Probably left a bunch of things out, but um, like I said, if you have any questions about it, if you want to come take a look at it, give us a call. If you buy it and you want it shipped or if you want to store it here until spring, uh, we'll accommodate you, help you with the shipping and the financing or whatever, whatever it is that you might need. So thanks for watching. God bless America and God bless Harley Davidson for kick-ass world-class machines like this one. So fellas, I'm gonna roll her into the showroom and wrap a chain around this along with my other pride and joys, plug it in, and that's where it's gonna stay in our, uh, in the showroom right in front of my desk, uh, guarded by Smith & Wesson, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, if you're interested, bid high and bid often. If you're looking for next time,